Hi, kids. Okay, the last in the camp series is Glitter from 2001. Uh, it is directed by Vondi Curtis Hall, starring Mariah Carey and Terrence Howard, among others, of course. Um, so, uh, Vondi Curtis Hall, depending on what your demographic is, uh, he is also an actor, um, primarily an actor, uh, television and film. Uh, this was his second feature that he directed. Uh, his first feature um, was Gridlocked, which starred Tupac Shakur and Tim Roth. That was released in 1997. Uh, that was released four months after Tupac was murdered. So Vondi, uh, with his film releases anyways, uh, has a little bit of bad luck uh, because Glitter, there's a soundtrack, came along with a film. Of course there was, a Mariah Carey film. Um, soundtrack was released September 11th. One, I shouldn't have to tell you what happened that day. A film released September 21st. So, not the greatest with luck for Von D uh, with his films being released. Of course, uh, more impact on the other people. Tubak died and so did a lot of other people. Uh, in 2001. Uh, so, um, normally, do camp videos, it's fun, it's camp. Um, but, I, this one's hard, because the way we were, or maybe are, treating our female pop stars uh, makes this one a little difficult. All right, so Mariah Carey, huge diva, pop star, uh, she had the concept for glitter, all that glitters, for a number of years. Um, saw it as a concept album. And then this could be a film to go along with it. Uh, but she was under contract at Columbia. And um, her husband slash boss was Tommy Mottola. Uh, by all accounts, quite a controlling relationship there. So she finally leaves Columbia and leaves Tommy Mottola. She has some freedom. She signs with Virgin and she's given control. Um, but Mariah is going through a bit of a nervous breakdown. Um, she just got out of this relationship. Uh, she's diagnosed with uh, by being bipolar. So there's a lot going on Mar with Mariah, so it's hard to uh, talk about glitter and be like, ha ha, look at how bad that is, because going through some stuff, uh, maybe don't throw rocks in glass houses. What's the saying? Uh, anyways, uh, film comes out very, very, very poorly reviewed, uh, doesn't perform very well at all at the box office. If we're talking about the camp elements, uh, it's mostly the cliche um, story and the stifled acting. Uh, some were not uh, too harsh on Mariah's acting. Others were. I think people are just ready to be, right? This is this uh, pop star starring in this film. Remember when it came out, there was uh, interpretations that, oh, this is Mariah Carey's life story. She made her own biopic. And she's only, what, in her late 20s, early 30s? Um, so and then this is Mariah's second on-screen appearance. Uh, she had appeared in The Bachelor in 1999. That film, by the way, um, is a remake of Seven Chances a Buster Keaton film from, I think, like 1925. So, maybe don't watch The Bachelor. Go watch Seven Chances. Um, yeah, so I don't really want to beat up this film because of everything that's going on. But, uh, yeah, that's it for camp. Uh, you can still watch Glitter. It's still fun. Um, just maybe don't be mean to it. Um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe.